Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome into the studio. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on Anne Makes, it's time for a Dollar Tree haul. That's right, I went to Dollarama and Dollar Tree um, and I wanted to go to those two stores specifically because my goal was to buy, even though I don't need to, uh, art journaling supplies on the cheap and I wanted to do that because I know a lot of people right now um, are stuck at home they need something to do they need to take care of their mental health as well as their physical health and I thought that art journaling is a great way to do that but any kind of crafting art making doodling uh, is great for anybody even if you think you're not creative uh, just slapping some paint onto something, just scribbling with a pen on paper. While you're doing that, while uh, that side of your brain is activated, the other side of your brain is not so focused on the doom and gloom and the negative stuff that is happening right now in our world. So I thought, well, a lot of people uh, aren't getting out of their homes. If they do, it's just for essentials. And sometimes those essentials can be obtained at your local dollar store because dollar stores sell food, health and beauty needs. They sell masks, hand sanitizer, uh, pet supplies. And sometimes maybe that's what's closest to you in your own neighborhood. So while you're in there getting necessities, uh, essentials, there's nothing wrong uh, with checking quickly for some other things that could help with your mental health which would be creating something so i thought uh let's let's make a kit to have with you on the couch a kit that you can take on the go when you'll be on the go again and uh, let's 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 do this and let's do it on the cheap by going to the Dollar Tree. So one of my favorite things and one of the first th things I used when I made my first art journal was a composition notebook. And I bought one today to show you. And I really like this one because it was red. So. Uh, I got this composition notebook just for the sake of this video to show you that something as simple as a notebook is great for getting the creative juices flowing. Now, of course, you can journal in one of these. You can just write. You can just doodle. You can paint. You can do whatever you want. You don't need to have a specific journal to art journal. You can do art on pieces of paper, pieces of cardboard. You can do them on your walls. I don't care. But if you want some ideas on the cheap for possible art journals, uh, this is one of them and this is something that I have done in the past. In fact, I have my first one that I made out of a composition book and here it is. I had altered the, the cover eventually with pieces of scrapbook paper that I sewed on, but that is like way down the road that I did that. So you can see this is like my very first one. And I used this journal, this composition book, so you can see this is it almost complete. And this is what it is, brand new. <laughs> it got filled up. And as you can see, it's sturdy. Everything is still in there. The pages aren't falling out. Uh, I had glued a lot of the pages together to make them thicker. And a lot of the pages were not glued together because a lot of pages just have writing on them whether it's uh something i found on youtube how to make your own gesso how to make your own sprays or i was just writing down a shopping list or <laughs> i was just doing everything in here including gluing down things uh just because i felt like it trying out products trying out supplies uh trying to art journal trying to just you know just everything this was just an everything book for me and it worked great so why not do that now for you and it's just a way to go dump your ideas go dump your feelings uh, scribble doodle have fun so 
here is one thing you could use as your base. Now, other things that I like to use in art journaling are other papers and images. Other papers that you can find at Dollar Tree to use in your art journal and you don't have to purchase these things. Just raid your recycling box, your junk mail. There might There's tons of stuff in there that you can reuse. Uh, hold on. For example, in today's mail, I got this envelope. Uh, it's for my, a magazine that I'm subscribed to. I'm saving the envelope because there's things I could do with this envelope. The inside itself has some beautiful print that I could use as a collage element or a background on a journal page. I could use the envelope, I could use the window. All this can be reused, repurposed into some sort of element or material for your art journaling. I'm even uh, going to repurpose this letter, uh, just, you know, just a letter about my subscription, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Maybe I will use this as a surface to glue, you know, when I add glue to another piece of paper so I don't get glue on something else that, or I can actually use the white part to write on, whatever. So the whole thing, this whole piece of stuff, mail here that I can recycle, I can put in the recycling bin or I can repurpose into some sort of art. And that doesn't cost me anything. <laughs> so, <clears throat> a Dollarama though, if you want some colored papers, they sell these packs, these paper packs of different kinds of craft papers. Oh my goodness, what a deal you get in here. They might not be the thickest papers, but when you're gluing paper to paper in an art journal, you don't really want that thick. Maybe you do, sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. So you get tons of colors in here. They don't have any prints really, but some of them have lots of cool texture. Some, some pieces have cool texture, like this, and there's glitter, there's different colors. You can cut this into shapes, flowers, whatever. So <clears throat> it's a source of paper. It's a layer to put in your journal. Other sources of paper uh, that can be used in journal making, of course, are envelopes. I love using craft envelopes in uh, paper art journals. Uh, it's really fun to play with these. You can make a whole journal just out of envelopes. So I just bought a couple packs here of the envelopes. There's a, this is a five pack, it's the peel and stick. This is a six pack, they're smaller, but uh, just to show you that there's so many options. There's also white envelopes. There's so many types of envelopes that you can use. Another source of paper that is available at Dollar Tree also can be used as the art journal itself are coloring books. With coloring books, you have great images in here to color. So you can color in here and have fun just coloring. You can repurpose the pages afterwards as background papers in your art journal. You can decide to cut out some elements to stick as focal points in your on your art journal page. Uh, yeah, so this this can be used, a coloring book is a great thing to have if you are tight on money, you really want to get creative because you can get multiple uses out of this. Like I said, color with it. You can cut up what you've colored afterwards. You can cut up just the black and white images. You could use the whole pages. You can use the entire coloring book to make an art journal. So that that's really a great thing to think about. Sticky notes. I love the sticky notes with the lines. I have, I all, I buy the pink one usually. I just usually buy the pink one because this sits on my desk here. I use this almost every day to write stuff down and I love that it has a sticky on it because 
I usually stick this to the back of my phone, the back of my iPad, the back of my eyeglass case, the back of my my mug sometimes because I'm going to the kitchen to bring back my mug and I don't want to forget to do something so I write myself a note on here and I carry the note to the I, I just yeah. but these are great in art journaling too they're great for making journaling boxes they're great just for the color and the, the lines so you could jazz these up with another little sticker you so many things so you get nice little thick pad doesn't have to be sticky notes any notepad will do but think of you know papers with lines without lines with print without print speaking of papers with print my dollar tree had a few of the paper stacks left when i was at dollarama i didn't find any uh crafting paper like this but dollar tree had some and these papers are thin so they're perfect for gluing into an art journal without giving it thickness. But if you want them to be thicker, you just can glue them to another piece of paper. So these are really fun prints to use in an art journal. I find the size is great because they're not very big. Plus, the packaging itself can be reused to make decorative elements. So I got this paper stack as well. So just a couple paper stacks that I got for the art journal. Like, speaking of paper, your receipts. I showed you how to use junk mail envelopes. You could use this as a layer in your art journal as background. You could turn this into a pretty rosette. Uh, there's, you know, it's cheap. I mean, it's cheap. It was free. I mean, it wasn't free because you actually paid for the stuff you bought to get the receipt, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um some more notepads for journaling boxes or just for decorative elements and you know i had to pick this one up because look at that how cute is that it's the kitty wearing the glasses just like my bag here it's adorable so uh yeah i had to get that so yeah that's just it's cute there's so many cute papers available for so cheap at the dollar store to put uh, images and elements to folk, uh, focal points in an art journal, uh, I thought I'm going to look at the books and I did find a book that is basically all photographs. It's uh, Find It and Everything Photographs by Drew Barrymore. Uh, so it's a book that stuff she photographed. So it's full of photographs. I mean, $1.25 25 because I'm in Canada for a whole book that I can cut out the images for to stick in my art journal. What a deal! I got that. By the way, books, actual books that you know, fiction, non fiction books are great for making art journals. Uh, I picked this one up, and this would make a really nice art journal because it, it's really nice. It's easy to take apart. Um, but I, actually, I'm going to read this book first. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I get to reading the book and I don't like it, I'll just sacrifice it and turn it into an art journal. But uh, yeah, you can buy books, hardcover books, paperback books at the dollar store. Use the books themselves to make an art journal. Use the pages inside to create really interesting backgrounds in your books, in your art journals, I should say. Yeah, and reuse the covers. Oh, the, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that you can find at the Dollar Tree to get your art journaling or any of your create creativity on. They have these little books that are intended to be like greeting cards but they're a little book and they have quotes in them like this one is a book on hope and it has all these positive messages in it it also comes with a nice big envelope and i got it with the intention of using the quotes inside my own art journal also you can get this little book itself and add to the pages and turn this whole thing into a little art journal of your own. So 
lots of possibilities. Other paper products that I like, I showed you the striped sticky notes at the beginning. They have these great sets of sticky notes at Dollar Tree. And I love this little fold out thingy. It's really fun, really cute. And look at the sticky notes inside. OMG, so many elements in here, so many decorative possibilities for your art journaling or your craft making. You can make beautiful tags. Oh, so many, so many things that you can do with this in your art journal. Speaking of art journal, I found one package of these journaling cards. I know that a lot of people have been finding these things at Dollar Tree. They are from Crafter Square. There was like a whole line of products like this. My Dollar Tree was sold out of everything. Um, so this is all that I got. But this is great in an art journal. It's a journaling card. That's how it's, it's sold at. Other ways to put paper into an art journal are tissue papers. Tissue papers are a great way to add a thin layer of interest, color, and texture to your art journal page. And the dollar stores have quite the variety of them. You can't go wrong. So I picked some of these up because they had like shimmer. I just thought the colors were pretty. There are so many. I had to limit myself. <clears throat> images you want images I showed you books what about calendars calendars are a great source of images here I got these two calendars for the price of one a dollar 25 for both great images in here to cut there's the little one and the big one um, you know you could cut parts of it and also this one has inspirational quotes and I just thought the quotes themselves would be great to use in an art journal now this is a 2021 calendar I could use it for my 2021 calendar and save the paper which I do I save my old calendars and repurpose them but let's say you don't have an old calendar kicking around because you threw it out after the new year started Hey, you can get some at the Dollar Tree if you want just the pictures, just the, Im just the images, just the uh, quotes on here. Why not? I did pick up this one to use in my home uh, for the next year, for 2021. Why not? I just thought they had it and I wanted to share it with you because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who like this theme. It's, uh, it's called Farmer's Market. So thought it was really cool <clears throat> one thing I like to use a lot of in art journaling in the backgrounds is maps now that's one thing I wasn't able to find at any dollar store I was at was any kind of map but I came across this wall decal with some maps <laughs> of uh, London, Paris, and New York. So just because it says wall decal doesn't mean you can't stick it in your journaling book, your art journal. And so, yeah, why not? So another element. Really fun to use for art journaling as background paper. Also to use a stencil. Doilies. Doilies are super practical. These can be dyed, they can be painted, they can be added to uh, pages to make texture. So many things to do and what a deal. The 32 in here, different sizes. Yes, please. And I also saw in the craft section some uh, canvas doilies. Canvas doilies, these are fun to actually paint an image on. And you could stick this in your art journal. How pretty is that? So, paper ones, canvas ones, why not? I picked up regular size index cards at Dollarama because uh, I did a Dollarama haul for my art journaling couch kit. I will put a link to that video here. I picked up regular size index cards there and then Dollar Tree has regular size index cards but also has these larger ones. So I picked up these larger ones. As I explained in the other video, you can use this as the paper itself. 
You can use it as a substrate. You can use this to make tags. You can use these to make journaling boxes in your art journal. There's different things you can do with this. Uh, white index cards are very versatile. So they're a great thing that I like to always have some on hand uh, for my art journaling. Other paper goods that are great in journaling are, uh, pa are papers with words. I saw these in the teaching section, school teaching section, and these are sight words. So these can be, you could use these to make a title, to just, whoops, to write, to put a word on your page. You can cut these, or you can use the whole thing. You could. This could be an add-in to your art journal. Uh, yeah, lots of fun things. And tickets. Tickets are another item that I like to use a lot as an element in my art journals. You've got so many in here. Please share with a friend, <laughs> as I should. Um, yeah, tickets are a fun element. You can distress these, make them look vintage. You can jazz them up. Just another fun cheap paper thing to glue into your art journal. Now, I showed you the books. I showed you ideas for the actual journal. I've showed you papers, backgrounds, but you need adhesive. Now at the Dollar Tree, you can find all sorts of adhesive, whether that is glue tape runner, there's scotch tape, there's double-sided tape as well, glue stick, and this one is my favorite, is the glue pen. So uh, just a little bit, you just need a little bit, the glue pen is the way to go. They also have bottles of school glue, uh, white glue, tacky glue. I have so much glue I didn't buy more because I already I bought some at Dollarama to show you. But yeah, uh, the dry glue will stick, will keep longer in my stash and this is just great for sticking paper to your art journal and sticking other things to the paper. <laughs> other tapes, maybe with a more decorative purpose, there's little washi tapes that you can use. And I picked up just a few to show you. Also great if you're gonna make your own art journal, masking tape is great for uh, the hinges. It, masking tape is great in the art journal. You can make it into your own washi tape. You can use uh, several pieces of this to make an interesting background, interesting texture in on an art journal page. So masking tape is a great thing to add to your kit for art journaling. Now, what about adding color, paint? There's lots of paint options usually available at Dollar Tree. And I'm putting a caveat here because my Dollarama was out of bottles of craft paint and my Dollar Tree really did not have a lot of bottles of acrylic craft paint left, except for the colors I'm going to show you. They had white left, they had some white, they had lots of black, and they had a lonely bottle of yellow. <laughs> so I couldn't find anything like this at Dollarama. I picked these up at Dollar Tree just to show you that it is possible to find very inexpensive paint unless you go to only one store and they're sold out like I did the first store. But uh, yeah, so I noticed, I know that a lot of people are crafting now and they're picking up lots of craft supplies for their kiddos uh, and that's why the dollar stores are selling out. But yeah, this is a great way to add color to your page. Now, I also picked up, I wanted to have the basic colors and I got a tube of red. I couldn't find it in a bottle, but they had a tube and one little tube of green. <laughs> so yeah, so now the tubes are smaller and they're the same price as the big, but anyway, uh, I got some different colors. I was hoping to find a blue and I couldn't find a blue except for this one. I found uh, this blue paint. So I got that one. And 
I also got oh a fabric paint in pink. Now, this says fabric paint because this paint will stick to fabric versus this paint might not stick to fabric. So that's the point of that. But it doesn't mean you can't use it on paper. Of course you can use this on paper. It will still color the paper and it will stick to the paper. So don't be turned off by this saying, oh, I need, a, I need acrylic craft paint for paper and all my store has is fabric paint. The fabric paint will work the same. So, and I just really like the color, so I got that. Other type of paint that is fun to use in an art journal to add a lot of color is the poster paint with the glitter. These are really fun. They add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of color, the kind of translucent, but uh, these are a lot of fun to use in an art journal. So that is one. And a watercolor paint palette. Yeah, this is not the highest quality of watercolor paint. I know it tends to be on the chalky side, but I really wanted to pick up a palette at the dollar store. There was nothing at Dollarama. This is all I could find at Dollar Tree. And I thought it, was, it wasn't a bad deal. So, and it is by Selectum, which is a brand, the brand that makes a lot of uh, school supplies. So, it's not a bad brand. Okay, so other things you can use for coloring in your art journal besides paint are crayons. Crayons are great to use and uh, they have these specialty crayons with glitter. They're metallic, pearl, why not? You can color a lot with crayons. Just because they're sold for kids doesn't mean adults can't use them. And they even have this jumbo box of 64 crayons with the built-in sharpener for $1.25. Fast way to add color, great to color in coloring books, great for kids. You can use it in your art journal. Another thing that they sell at Dollar Tree, oil pastels. You can get a lot of basic art supplies at the dollar stores uh, to get your craft on. Saves you a trip to the bigger stores. Uh, saves you some money because they're really inexpensive. No, none of these products I'm showing you are of high quality, the highest quality. Some of these are really good quality though. They really are. But, uh, you know, you're not, this is for your art journal only. Your specific, for your creativity, for you to have fun, for you and the kids to have fun. So, uh, you need, you want some oil pastels? They have that at the dollar store. They also have little jars at the dollar store. These are the travel size jars. They're plastic. These are great if you're making, like I'm making this kit to sit on my couch with. I can pour in smaller amounts of products that I would like to use like gesso and gel medium, glue, paint, whatever into the smaller jar and that's what I will be doing with this because a lot of the things I use in my art journal uh, I couldn't find at the dollar store. They don't have gesso, they don't have gel medium. However, for those of you who can't afford the actual gesso, can't find the gesso, it is possible to make your own version of gesso and uh, modeling paste with paint, some glue, and talcum powder or cornstarch. Um, so, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, if you really want to have some gesso and uh, you can't find it and there's no way in heck you're going to order the overpriced one online, you could try making it yourself. There's tons of tutorials online uh, to make your own. I'm trying to get this done. Also, tons of pens, tons of pens, pens, markers to mark stuff in your art journal to write. You've got tons of choices at Dollar Tree. Try them. They're a lot of fun. I uh, came across, this one is new, a dual FX. It says make 3D effects with these paint, uh, these paint, these pens, sorry. Uh, why not? This is a lot of fun to use in an art journal. They have these great gel pens. I really like using these, the Pro Marks. 
Another pen I love to use are these. I've been using these in my art journal lately. They do write well over paint, by the way. They do smudge at first, but once they dry, they're dried. And uh, these are the Ink R2 Roller Ball Pens. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they write really well. And some other Promark markers and metallic markers. So, oh, they have glitter markers. And I picked up a package of these furniture scratch markers. Um, these weren't with the crafts, they were with the like tools. And these I have used in the past to get an antiquing look. Kind of like, you know, uh, a certain brand of ink pad to make vintage edges on paper. Uh, since I couldn't find ink pads, there's no ink pads at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I picked this up because this is a good way to make my own ink to add the distressed look to papers and such. This is new at Dollar Tree. They have permanent ink markers at Dollar Tree. This is just a new packaging, but they're markers. You can mark on paper with them. You could turn these into your very own dyes, inks, and sprays to use to make color, to add color to your art journal. Do not dismiss some of the art supplies at Dollar Tree, such as watercolor pencils. These aren't bad watercolor pencils. Also, the uh, graphite pencils. These aren't bad either. Uh, these are great if you like to make smudgy things on your pages, your art journal pages. So, fun tools for cheap at the dollar store. Got this cute little sharpener mainly because it's pink and it has the two different size holes and it has erasers <laughs> that you put on the end of your pencil. So, that's a multi-purpose thing to have to sharpen my my other pencils and to erase. Highlighters. Highlighters are a great way of adding color uh, to your pages and for coloring embellishments, etc. So a pack of highlighters. Pencils. I showed you uh, graphite pencils, sketching pencils. Regular pencils are great to draw with, just to write doodles. Right. And they have erasers on the end. These are mechanical ones. And yeah. So these are pretty good. One thing I use a lot in making backgrounds on my art journal pages are stencils. And um, Dollar Tree has tons of tons of stencils now. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of Dollarama as well. Again, I'll link to the video that I did. Um, but you can get really inexpensive stencils at Dollar Tree. Also, stickers. Whether you want letter stickers or fancy decorative stickers, they have tons of those at the Dollar Tree. So, good place to pick them up for very cheap. Also, I thought these big shipping label stickers were great for making your own sticker. Uh, you want to make your own sticker, you want to stamp an image on here, you want to print an image, you want to draw an image on here uh, and cut it up. Why not? Now, finally, we're down to the tools. The things that are practical to have for your art journal. Remember, you don't need to have all the stuff I'm showing you. These are just ideas. But parchment paper is a great thing to have. You could put this between the pages of your art journal to keep your pages clean. You could also use this as a way to protect the surface you're working on. I picked up the Bashami just because I like to pick up my water messes with these, so. Bone folders. Dollar Tree has bone folders. Dollar Tree usually also has craft knives and craft mats, but my Dollar Tree was out. But uh, there's lots of crafting tools available at Dollar Tree for your art journaling and your other crafting. And this is one of those tools that I really wanted to have in my couch kit. So... I could leave my other tools in my studio. 
Also, they sell lots of nice little containers to corral your stuff. And so I got this pencil box. And I got this nifty little caddy here because it was pink. And as you can see, I have stuffed it with tools that I bought expressly for the purpose of this video to make this couch kit. And I got, they sell little detailed scissors. They sell regular size scissors, pencil cases. I got a mini stapler in pink, by the way and brushes these i are fun for making like distress distressing the edges of papers with this is a great stencil brush some other brushes for applying paint through stencils reading glasses <laughs> oh and um a nail file emery board block thing because this is a great tool to distress edges to take the shine off of some papers if you want so this is just this is in the beauty section so that's another great tool to use in your art journal another great tool to use in your art journal are these makeup sponges they are great for spreading smooshing inks and paints um, yep that's a great tool or you can buy these little pouncers as well so depending on your budget you have options so when you go to shop for your supplies for art journaling at the dollar store that's basically what i'm saying also pretty twines uh paper craft ribbons use these to tie things use these to decorate but you can also use these as texture on a page now one thing that is that is really handy to use are clips to hold your art journal open while you work on it and why not pick some up at the dollar store while you are at it so i got these and i couldn't help it i had to get these but these are are smaller they don't hold a really thick book open but they're so darn cute but these are can open pretty big so i got that they have the new calendars out well not new every year they have these calendars in a pouch that you can stick in a binder and i just thought well this is dual purpose for my art journaling first of all i've got a calendar to know what day it is yes but i could reuse the paper itself for the art journal and the pouch itself for putting stuff in to organize my uh, couch kit and some other tools to organize ephemera pieces of paper tools drawing tools etc uh, they have a variety of pouches pencil cases holders poly envelopes uh, there's two in a pack here these are all things that I will be using to help put together my couch kit so i can uh, art journal on the couch while we watch movies in the evening so that is it for the dollar tree haul it was a big one i know and a lot of supplies i already have but this is to these are basically doubles so i can make this kit that will stay in my living room i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found something useful in this uh i hope there's a tip in here that you uh are are gonna say hey yeah I, I hadn't thought of that and I can use it and that was my that's my whole goal so I hope you're well please stay safe wear your mask wash your hands keep your distances if you go out if you have to go out and uh on thank you so much for watching if you like this video we'd appreciate a thumbs up or two and until next time stay crafty bye